Winter. Undoubtedly my favorite time of the year. This is what I look forward to each year, aching with anticipation and exploring with excitement and simply just waiting for them white fluffy clouds to cascade over the mountains. This year we were blessed with an epic unending winter and that meant only one thing Gulmarg. Now a lot of you might be skeptical about traveling into the heart of Kashmir considering the volatile history of the region but in my experience I have found that it is rather convenient to move around but I must say flying into Kashmir valley during the winter is a whole different charm by itself while most would awe at the magnanimity and the splendor of it all I just find myself choosing possible lines to ski down those mountains whilst dreaming of the Himalayas being like a utopian ski destination one day but for now Gulmarg will do just fine. Good morning people. 9:30 p.m. And our place is a ski in ski out. So you get the hell out from here. And here we go. Woo! This is what daily life looks like in the morning. You hit the jumps and heading straight to buy my lift pass for the day. Here we go follow the track, follow the track. Follow the track. And we have absolutely blue skies. Check it out on a sunny day. It's absolutely gorgeous. Ooh. Nice Gulmurg. Gondola Subinia shop. Naste, good morning. The forum temperatures were concerned about all aspects today. All aspects. Enjoy the day. Thank you, thank you. Thanks. All right, guys, here we are. Clean day. Never seen a clearer day in Gulmarg. Oh my God. Guys, woo! Oh my God, Makan, Makan by Sam. Just finished our run. <sighs> probably the best run of my life. Not probably. I think it was the best part of my life. Best run of my life. The light is phenomenal right now, man. And I am like, man, like dopamine, serotonin, everything is just going blasting in my head. Now that, my dear friends, is what I call a perfect winter day. But it does not end there, because what follows is a pace key. which in french literally means after ski and it's a general phrase to describe the social activities that take place after a long day spent on the slopes bakshi so here we are at bakshi's one of the few good restaurants around town you see after a day like this one really needs to pack on some major calories and the only thing that hits the spot is some deep fried delicious goodness that is the afghani chicken 
We're having some Afghani chicken, which is a speciality, and some normal chicken, right? And some kebabs. Do pre-order this. Do pre-order this. Oh, you got to pre-order this. Yeah. How is it? I haven't tasted it. It's Kashmiri KFC. The KFC Kashmiri fried chicken. Kashmiri fried chicken. Yeah, KFC. Yeah. Oh, chutney, chutney, na. Slay, line, ni chutney. Tension, man, tear, kar, kar, rak. Tension, man, tear, kar, kar, rak. And if that wasn't enough, Gulmarg this year had something rather luxurious for us. And by luxurious, I mean some freshly ground, authentic coffee. Guys, the coolest new uh, cafe in Gulmarg. You won't believe something like this is actually in Gulmarg. Welcome to the Big Bear Brew. अच्छा, ठीक है। एक, दो, तीन, चार, पांच, छः, छः कैपेचिनो, एक लाते, नहीं अमेरिकानो। What do you have to say about the coffee? Oh my fucking god. Okay, two cappuccino. Can't believe we're getting this in Gulmarg, dude. Oh. Spoiled, spoiled people. <laughs> really spoiled. Yeah. We usually drink warm water, <laughs> warm water and get by. <laughs> By now, most of you must be aware that my friends and I love to take things to the next level. All right, people, this is what we call carboarding. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to tell you how vital my role has been in this. I'm the warmest guy here. <laughs> Back at the lodge, things are much more relaxed. We usually indulge in some desi style spa therapy, and uh, since most of us don't have any network on our phones, we find interesting ways to kill time. Well, what is that? This is fresh powder, guys. Fresh powder. <laughs> <laughs> The last few times we were here in Gulmarg, we went to some pretty decent parties. But for some reason, this year, the scene was pretty dead. So, we decided it was a great idea to throw one ourselves and invite everyone we could. After all, we had a professional DJ in our gang. Talking over a meter of snow on top of a meter which is already there. This is the first floor. Check it out. You would think it's absolutely crazy and reckless to go out skiing in such weather. And while most people run inside, we all head right into the eye of the storm for some pure, uncut, A grade powder. Yeah, yeah I. Yeah, more than my ball. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Wow. Don't be defensive because it's just all power. Okay. <laughs> Hey, hey, hey. 
I can't see anything. It's like literally 10% visibility. <laughs> Somebody save me. I can't see anything. Oh my god, I can't see anything through my glasses. Can you guys see anything through my glasses? Look at this. <laughs> this is called zero visibility. <laughs> it's fogged up. Oh my god, my face is freezing. Nice gun. It's a lot of snow this year. Oh my god. I think I've had my fill for snow. How was your day? <laughs> Crazy. How was your day? Too good, too good. This much, Barbara. This much. <laughs> How was your day? Good, very good. Nobody says that it was bad. Nobody ever says that it was bad. <laughs> now, it all might seem like fun and games, but one must never forget that if the mountain gives you pleasure, it can also put you in a world of pain. Oh! Okay, no, no, one more. You can get up. Oh, oh fuck. Come on, Tico, shoulder, don't know, right wala. Nikal to nikya. So what's happened is, Arun just fell. He popped his shoulder out. Okay, guys, anybody knows how to do this? I'll tell you. I'll tell you. Okay, let's just. Aram, 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 aram. Is is arm ko kar? Is arm ko kar? Drop bar ke side. Is arm ko kar? Outside. Ah. No, not, not, not going. Okay, 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 okay. 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 Keep doing it. Okay. It said, don't yeah, go okay. overhead. Like you have to press from the I chest. I think it is from back and it is. Kitch, 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 kitch. Kitch, 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 kitch. Okay, okay, got it. So guys, everyone hold him like here. Yeah. yeah. From his underarm, underarm, head, neck, everywhere so he doesn't move. Yeah. This shouldn't curve. Yeah. Okay. No, no, I wait, can't wait, guys, watch yeah. it, watch yeah. it. Yeah. And more than 90 cooking. degrees, you go more up. Is that, that help no. or no? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep it straight yeah. and no, 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 no. Because no, no. I think we have to keep it straight. To be honest, not over the point, yeah. oh, and just yeah, slowly, nice. slowly more. So yeah, pull it, yeah. No, more, even like this. I yeah, think. Yeah, yeah, 90 degrees yeah. and pull it. Nine, yeah. All straight in yeah. all directions. They can maybe come to the bottom. What's, what's your radio channel? Yeah. Done. 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 Oh. Done. Oh. Fuck yeah. Oh. When did that happen? Oh, it oh. happened. Oh. Yeah. Oh my god. Done. Oh, Holy shit. Maneuver through them and hit the trees and try hitting like this and go from middle. Holy shit, I'm too fast! Too fast! Oh no! Each year we return home from Gulmar covered in fresh battle wounds. This year alone I had 10 serious crashes, one of which left me with this. But it could have been a lot worse. I could have torn a ligament, broken some bones, or maybe even suffered a serious head injury. And that is why it is extremely important to get the right kind of training and equipment before you end up biting off more than you can chew. For beginners, it's like you're a baby learning to walk for the first time. You're gonna fall thousands of times, but you have to pick yourself up and slide down a little further down that slope till you fall again and again and again. But when you do make yeah. it down that mountain in one go for the very first time, that feeling, my dear friends, is what I call a snowgasm. First time in Gulmarg, it's been uh, quite shocking actually. I didn't expect the conditions to be this good. But I, I personally feel I've got the basic technique, etc. Uh -huh. Now it is just about spending more time in the snow. We reached the stage. Close to the chairlift uh, elevation. It's been really good. I think it's a uh, couple of days of hard work, and I'm hoping it's going to get a lot better. Every day is saza, and every night is maza. <laughs> <laughs> it was so foggy. I can't see Arun or his trail. Yeah, so the first few days have been amazing because it's been like blue skies, sunny, and the powder has been insane. I'm obsessed with snow, so I've been eating it, swimming in it, sitting in it, and uh, phase two is going to happen in four days. So I just sat down to like recuperate and see what I can do. Like, oh bro, it's improved what I think I would improve in three seasons in Manali. Uh -huh. I just need to condition my thighs, uh -huh. the rest getting quite a lot of it. And it was like a six inch slab that went more than 50 feet. 
very very tiring i need to up my endurance for this one yeah. yes one day i'm going to go down the slope and hopefully not fall yes if you're a first time or amateur you want to give it a shot this is the place to be yeah the runs are really good and i would recommend everyone to come here yes not alone definitely with a lot of yeah this friends <laughs> and then it's fun and i took a shit which was like 9 inches in his pants <laughs> it's still my pants sir <laughs> Gulmarg has now become like a yearly pilgrimage for us all. It is quite an expensive trip for sure, but we all try and save rupee by rupee all through the year just so that we can go spend a few weeks doing what we absolutely love. Honestly, I think it is one of the best ways to go somewhere with your friends and actually learn something new. It is definitely not what you would call a classic vacation, but it's more like a boot camp. waking up at 7 am every single morning dragging kilos of equipment at any given time rushing to the gondola in way steep snow just so that you can be the first one to carve your line on that fresh powder and then up you go again to the top of the mountain find a new line to come down over and over again all day all week all month long no days off but trust me At the end of those few grueling weeks when you are sitting on a houseboat floating over the dull lake soaking in that sunset the sense of accomplishment and satisfaction that you feel makes it all totally worth it <laughs>